It is a weighty decision with far-reaching consequences. To what extent has Scottish identity played an emotional role in the independence question? Traditions are one thing, but there are multiple influences pulling here as well. There's a lot to consider. After all, the Scots have lived in union with the powerful English, come what may, for more than 300 years. Scots have their own identity. We always have had their own identity. And I think it's what you call the old saying, you've got the fire in the belly. So we'll always be Scots, but we're part of the United Kingdom. And I think it should stay that way. Scotland's second export behind energy products is whisky. Nine out of ten bottles made of it are sold abroad. The distilleries employ some 35,000 people. What impact might independence have on this? Well, Scotch whisky survived wars, revolutions. We've been making whisky for over 500 years. But it's a big decision. This family distillery has been making the spirit for two centuries. They're confident. It's very sweet. It tasted worse than I could stay here. The result of the, the independence vote uh, really won't affect, uh, uh, it, may, it may increase sales because of the, uh, uh, the promotion of Scotland uh, worldwide. But I'm sure my English friends and colleagues will, will not boycott uh, Scotch. Uh, why would you? The Shetland Islands are far from London, but not close to Edinburgh either. Oil is pumped out of the seabed here. But the archipelago is also rich in fisheries and renewable energy. There's a strong Norse heritage. And so for many, the question of Scottish identity is indistinct. The predominant drink here is ale. There's not much in Shetland that's traditionally Scottish. There's no very little wearing of the kilt or anything like that. And uh, we don't seem to associate much with, with Scottish things. And what role does identity play for an immigrant who lives and works in Glasgow? One study has shown that 94% of immigrants identify more with Scotland than with the UK, feeling the Scots are more open to them than in the UK as a whole. The EU is very important for me and I think that um, Scotland um, will be uh, better off being alone and being part of EU than as a part of the UK and there's always a danger that we will uh, separate from EU being part of the UK. Eligibility to make the historic choice for the Scottish future includes some four million people, whether British, Irish, other European Union or qualifying Commonwealth citizen, but they must be living in Scotland now.